Welcome to the essentials of working with the Moonray 3D printer. Your Moonray comes with everything you need to begin printing, including a finishing kit, a Moonray 3D printer, an extra resin drum, a resin tank assembly with drum, one liter of standard or dental resin, and a build platform. Begin by unpacking your Moonray and finding it a stable, level location. Next, carefully remove the foam from underneath the build platform and in the machine near the projector and the mirror. When working with Moonray, always remove the build platform before removing the resin tank. Your Moonray serial number is located on a label near the build arm. For maintenance information, visit the support section of our website. Connect your Moonray to power with the provided cable using the port on the back of the machine. Turn the machine on by pressing the power button one time. The power button will blink rapidly and the build arm will rise as Moonray is powering on. When the power button begins fading in and out, you are ready to connect to your machine in Rayware. Download the latest version of Rayware at sprintray.com download. You'll find the Connect a Printer option by clicking the Moonray button. Choose between wireless printing or printing via Ethernet. For most users, we recommend printing via your wireless network. Follow the on-screen instructions to connect to your Moonray's network. After entering the password, Rayware will look for your Moonray. This may take up to 30 seconds. Once connected, you'll have two choices. Connect to Network allows you to print using your wireless network, while Print Direct is an option for printing without an internet connection. Find your wireless network from the drop-down and enter the password to proceed. Reconnect to your regular wireless network while your Moonray restarts to complete the connection process. You are now connected. You can adjust your connection settings from the Moonray button by clicking Manage Printers. When you are ready to begin a print, slide in the resin tank. Then lock the build platform onto the build arm tightly. To add resin, start by shaking the bottle and then pour the resin into the tank, being mindful of the minimum and maximum fill lines. If you have resin left in the tank from a previous print, Use the provided resin wiper to give it a good stir before printing. This also allows you to check that the resin tank is clean and free from cured resin. When there is resin in the tank, keep the red top cover on to prevent light from curing the resin. To begin printing, first add your model by clicking the top icon in the left in Rayware. We recommend printing the Moonray test keychain first. Within Rayware, you can use your mouse or the buttons on the top right to change your viewing angle. The buttons on the left in Rayware give you several options to adjust your model before printing. The first option allows you to change size and scale. The next button gives you several options to change the rotation of your model. The third button is duplication. If you would like to print multiple copies of the same model at one time, use the duplication feature. When you're working with multiple models, the model that is blue is the one that is actively selected. The last button allows you to add supports to your model. Use the sliders to change the strength and density of your supports. Most models, including models with overhanging features, do need a support structure when printing. The Moonray keychain, however, does not need supports. So we can go back to the fourth button and use the Remove Support option. When you are ready to print, click the Moonray button. Choose the material that you are using to print, then pick your print resolution. We recommend 50 microns as the ideal balance of speed and quality. 
The Enhanced Surfaces option can improve the surface finish of your model. We recommend using it except when printing dental parts. You'll see an accurate print time estimate and then can start your print using the red print button. The build platform will lower as your print begins. The bottom left button in Rayware opens the Manage Printers window, where you can check the status of your print. You can also pause or cancel a print from this window, as well as adjust connection options for your Moonray. When your print is finished, the bill platform will raise out of the resin tank. When it stops moving, take the cover off and begin the finishing process. You may notice a lot of excess resin on the bill platform with your printed part. To avoid waste, use the resin wiper to wipe that extra resin back into the tank. Next, remove your part from the platform using the scraper tool. If your printed part is difficult to remove, try getting an edge of the scraper underneath the corner of your printed part to loosen it. Clean your printed part in a bucket of fresh isopropyl alcohol. We recommend using 99% isopropyl alcohol. Leave the part in alcohol for 10 to 15 minutes, agitating the part for the final minute. Dry your part with a soft cloth or compressed air for best results. If your printed part has supports, use the provided cutting tool to remove them. Try to get as close to the surface of your model as possible for less sanding later. You can also pull the supports off with your hands, but using a tool will be much more precise. If you experience a failed print, it's important to clean your tank thoroughly. There may be cured resin stuck to the surface of your tank. Use the resin wiper to identify any pieces of hardened resin, then carefully use your gloved hands to remove it. Never use any sharp objects to clean your tank. When you've confirmed the tank is free of cured resin using the resin wiper, you can continue the cleaning process. Begin by sliding the resin tank out then use the spout to pour the leftover resin back into the bottle. Near the end, use the resin wiper to save even more resin. Clean the resin tank using isopropyl alcohol and a soft cloth, such as a paper towel. Eventually, you'll need to replace your resin tank by placing a new resin drum onto your metal resin tank assembly base. Moonray resin drums can last for use with up to 50 liters of resin, but may need to be replaced earlier. Place the old resin tank and the new resin drum upside down on a flat surface and begin removing the four screws on the bottom of the resin tank assembly. Remove the tank assembly, holding it by the metal sides. Clean both sides of the clear portion with isopropyl alcohol on a paper towel and set it aside. Take the new circular film that came with your new resin drum and place it on the new resin drum. Then reattach the tank base. Once the tank base is reattached, you can now use your new resin tank. Knowing these simple steps is the foundation to successful 3D printing with Moonray.